Boxing Comedian Association with Boxer. Nice jacket, by the way, Dave. First reaction to that fight, what a fight. Brilliant fight, brilliant. I really enjoyed it. Came down for the one fight, to be honest, and, and I'm glad I did. You only came for that one fight? Yeah, really, yeah. That's that's the fight that, since it was made, I've been really excited for. I knew it would be a good fight. Um, it was even better than what I thought it was going to be, to be honest. You know, everybody before this fight was sitting on the fence. I never got to speak to you, but how did you think it was going to go and did I it? Thought, but to be honest, I thought if Richards came out hesitating like he usually does, I thought Boatsy would go, go straight through him. But Richards was very, very tough, very, very tough. Um, I like the improvements that you can see Virgil Hunter making with Boatsy. I think his inside game was brilliant, really was. Um, I've just spoke to Virgil backstage actually, and he was saying about a couple of things that he still needs to, you know, needs to get Josh to do, um, which is all a process and it takes time. But yeah, very, very good. I thought I was really impressed with him. People still want to fight. Yeah. You started working here like yesterday, bro. We can go outside, bro. The mic won't pick that up. Um, so the scorecards. I spoke to Dean White. He was fuming about the scorecards. He reckons they were way off. How did you score it? I, I, th I thought the right man won, but I thought it was wider. I did think it was wider. What was Dean saying? I thought it was wider. I think Dean felt it was either one round either way or, or a draw. Oh no! I, from I, I actually watched the fight with with the, the zone crew. Hey mate, how you doing? You good? KD picking fights in the crowd. Interrupting you guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. How did you score it, KD? Your debut on Boxing King Media. My debut. I actually scored it 116, 112. You know. Yeah. We yeah. just had the app. We had the app. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there. I think I just favour the forward boxing. Do you know what I mean? I'd, whenever someone's on the back foot, I just feel like you're running and. I'm always a bit biased because I'm 258 and it's Josh Watsey, so I'll go home, I'll watch it again. Biased. Yeah, I don't your, care. Your opinion was alright, but you didn't say it was biased. Yeah, no, I don't mind. I'm going to be. I'm going to be, so... No, I, I thought... Boxing King Media? I'll hit you up. I've seen Saudi. I thought, I thought the 115, 113 was too... My personal opinion was too close. Where do you think Craig went wrong in that fight? It's not just about being... Where does he go wrong? People, people got to understand that when you're getting nailed with body shots consistently, even later on in the rounds when you want to go, you can't go. You know, Craig a lot of times in his career always fights as a man that doesn't quite believe in himself. But I thought he, he did well tonight. He, threw, he landed some big bombs as well. But I just thought Boatsy was the better fighter. I thought Boatsy imposed himself a lot more, especially in the early rounds. And that takes, all, the shots that he took, on, he took from uh, what's in the early rounds had, a, had an effect. And that can change the pattern of a fight, how you want the fight to go. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all right saying, oh, Craig should have done this, Craig should have done that. But he had a very good fight in front of him tonight. Last question, is Boatsy ready for a world title against any of the world champions? I still think he gets hit with hits. He gets hit with the right hand a lot. He always has done. But I mean, he got listen. Richard's got a, a longer reach, and, and you know he's, he's got that height and reach advantage. So he was always going to you know probably get caught with that shot. But again, little things. What Virgil's saying that he still needs to work on him. Then give him the time to work on that. But we've still got a domestic mix that we could clean up before he goes on to that. Anthony Yard, Callum Johnson, them guys. You know. Lyndon Arthur. There's three real good fights there, real good fights where, where you can you can push him on before he gets to that level. But better be F, Bivol, all a lot of them. He's, he's there now, do you know what I mean? So whatever. Dave, thank you for your time. We've got to go, man. Cheers, Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry.